This is The Process Shot. I'm Michael. I could never afford Adidas. And this movie is mocking me because of that. Well, sort of. Sneakerella is a new musical comedy from director Elizabeth Allen Rosenbaum, which puts a modern spin on the classic fairy tale while integrating elements of sneaker culture, which is a thing that exists. Anyways, it follows Elle, a teenage boy living in New York, working for his stepfather and bullied by his stepbrothers. Keeping his deceased mother's creative spirit alive through his custom sneaker designs and art. A chance meeting with another sneaker fanatic leads to a potential breakthrough for Elle, as this person just so happens to be the daughter of a sneaker mogul who is looking for a design to put his brand back on top. Only two things are stopping Elle, a complete lack of professional experience, and his stepfather and stepbrothers who would rather have him working in the back than anywhere else. Despite the seemingly absurd premise of mixing sneaker culture with the classic fairy tale, the movie manages to make it feel fresh and a bit fun to boot. It's able to hit the classic beats of the Cinderella story with enough new material that it isn't just a straight retelling with a new coat of paint and poorly integrated themes. Uh, granted, it does fall a bit back into the usual storytelling formulas, and at a few points it seems to just waste a bit of its time dawdling around within a scene. That mostly occurs in the film's songs, though, so while it's stalling, it's at least entertaining. On that note, though, the actual songs are fun, but the general presentation and their composition reminds me all too much of In the Heights, and that was before I saw the poster over here. Anyways, the characters of the movie are a bit mixed in their development and backstories, at least in terms of how much they're actually given over time. The few main characters get the most attention, of course, but as you move lower on the hypothetical list, things get simpler. It's not too distracting, since everybody seems to know their role and performs it well, but it's a bit jarring when Elle is given a more personal backstory, while his stepbrothers are almost cartoonish in their mannerisms. In any case, I'll at least acknowledge that this movie is made for younger audiences, or those who won't care for a strong attention to details like that. But it would have been nice if everything were a bit more consistent in tone. As for the film's technical details, things maintain a pretty lighthearted and even balance between fantasy and reality, though it does lean more into magical realism during musical numbers and in a few other story scenes. It's another indication that the filmmakers saw In the Heights before making this movie, I suppose. In any case, there's still some pretty nice camera work outside of fantasy scenes, which do help to emphasize a few landscapes and landmarks within the setting. It's also helpful in hiding the relatively lacking set pieces, though they're still dressed up well enough that you won't notice. It's more that you can tell when green screens were used, which is pretty much the only thing that keeps this movie from looking truly seamless. Speaking of which, editing does its work in both settings, pacing things well enough while also keeping musical numbers feeling larger than life. There are a few points where editing effects are pretty simplistic, like just basic split screens, and the actual special effects can feel a bit cheap at times, both of which do end up at odds with the rest of the film's imagery and spectacle. But I think the story is simple and accessible enough that it's easy to get pulled in and outright suspend your disbelief. At the end of the day, what we get is pretty clearly trying to be its own version of something that already proved to be popular, but it does at least try to be its own thing as well, if that makes sense. Sneakerella, Elizabeth Allen Rosenbaum, 
2022. Three and a half stars. I'd say that it's worth giving a try. It's more like a Friday night or Saturday morning kind of movie, where you don't need to invest too much into a viewing. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. This is the second movie I've seen based on Cinderella that tries to mimic the music and lyricism of Lin-Manuel Miranda. I can understand the second point, but why Cinderella? There have to be at least two other fairy tales out there. <laughs>